after the study of different types of soils and its distribution in india and also after the study of its use under the agriculture and forest and other land uses we have to study the soil conservation in india what is soil we have already discussed that soil is the function of the atmospheric lithospheric hydrospheric and biospheric components and its distribution in india is of different nature the soil is a loose material having fertility on the land soil there is difference between soil and land land reform differs from the soil soil is found on land after the study of different types of soil and distribution and its uses in india it is it we have already understood that soil is the function of lithospheric atmospheric and biospheric components and soil is very important factor in india soil differs from land because on all land it is not compulsory that soil will be found but soil certainly will be found on a land for example in greater himalayas it is land but soil is not found there because it is glaciated likewise kach of ran is included in land but it has no soil or the soil is generally hydromorphic thus soil differs from land soil conservation is different from the land reform land reform is very wide term and uh, and the soil is the part of land which is found in a loose form over the land soil in india is used under different purposes for example agriculture forest and others and soil conservation means the conservation or the products protection or the preservation of soil along with its use since several thousand years the soil in india is being used under agriculture forest and other purposes thus the soil conservation means use of soil at the same times its preservation also for the coming generation in other words soil conservation means the sustainable development of soil at the same time we have to use that soil for a particular purpose maybe agriculture or forestry and at the same time we have to keep its preservation in mind for the coming generation thus soil conservation stands for the sustainable development of soil what is the need of soil conservation in india it uh, india is first agricultural country the economy of which is mainly agriculture more than 75% of population depends on agriculture and soil is the base of agriculture in india and in world water resource and drainage basin management if we have to conserve the soil the drainage basins are demarcated and the water as well as soil is managed for the betterment of agriculture in india although the agriculture and forestry social forestry was practiced since past ancient times but after the independence of india the government of india strived for the sustainable development and especially for the proper soil use and soil conservation in india for the first time in 1958 all india soil and land use survey was established for the soil conservation measures and at the same time for the development of agriculture the soil survey started for which four regional centers in india were established for the conservation of soil first station first center was 
Delahi, where the alluvial soil found mostly North India was conserved. Second was here Nagpur, where the conservation of black cotton soil was being considered. And the third center was here Bangalore, where the red and yellow soil conservation measures were started. And fourth center was Kolkata, where the alluvial soil of eastern India and hill brown soil was conserved. Thus, these four major centers started the conservation measures of soil all over India. And this practice was done from 1970. And first Rinasa survey of soil started from 1974 and continued up to 2012. And then the next measures are being taken to conserve the soil in India. What is the need of conservation? The, what is the need of conservation and which are the measures now let us study. Need of conservation is the protection of soil from being eroded and polluted. There are two types of problem which Indian soil is facing. First is the soil erosion and second is the soil pollution. There are different types of soil erosion in India. For example, there is the seed erosion generally we have discussed in the different video which is found in the northern plain of India and the eastern and western coastal plain. And soil is lost. Soil is being eroded and washed away for the conservation of which only the demarcation is the way and it controls the seed erosion thus the fertile soil is protected from being eroded. And the second is ravination generally along the northern margin of peninsular plateau, Shivalik and the West Ghat mountain where the fertile soil is being eroded away and rills and gullies are developed and ravination there that we have studied. And here only the rill and gully head are dammed and that is the only way to control the soil erosion from this ravination process. Next is wind erosion which is found in the western part of India especially in Thar desert that we have already discussed. Here the fertile soil is being removed, deflated from one place to other for its conservation. The wind breaks sand dune stabilization processes and drip and spreading killing irrigation, social and agroforestry and forestation and canal irrigation are the only measures which are practiced here in the desert area, especially Indra Canal in the western part of Rajasthan. Thus, there are a number of measures to control the soil from being eroded, the soil is being conserved. Next is glacial erosion which is found in the greater Himalayan region. To control the fertile soil from glacial erosion, only the diming of glacial mouth is the way by the stone walls. And next is marine erosion which is largely found in the western coastal plain and to some extent along the Coromandel coast. To protect the fertile coastal soil from being eroded by the marine process, the dike and the tidal dike construction, tidal forest and the boulder wall, boulder wall along the coast is the only way to protect the soil and conserve it. And some soil erosion examples are found in the Himalayan region. Because in Himalayan region there are glaciofluvial process, slope is steep and there is need of agriculture and there terrace farming is being practiced, forests are there. Thus in the northern Himalayan region especially in the eastern India, soil is being preserved or soil is being conserved by different means. For example, terrace farming. Terrace farming protects soil getting eroded and next is the contour farming. Contour farming 
also resembles with the terrace farming and next is the salt agriculture salt does not means salt that we eat rather salt means slope agriculture s a l t slope agriculture land technology and slope agriculture land technology along the slope terraces are farmed and it is practiced generally in odisha and north east hilly states and it also conserves soil from getting eroded thus these are a number of processes of erosion taking place in india that cause soil loss but to protect the soil and conserve it from these processes a number of measures are being adopted and soil is being conserved next is next problem the soil is facing is pollution soil if is if soil is transported from one place to other it is called erosion and to conserve soil from erosion these are the measures but sometimes what happens that soil remaining in situ is being polluted by a number of natural and human factors and the examples of these and their conservation measures are given here for example if there is wet land and large lakes or small lakes and fens these are these are water covered and of no use for agricultural forestry that's why wetland management is a practice wherein aquaculture pc culture uh, is being practiced and dredging of these lakes or wetlands is the only measure to store the water and practice aquaculture pc culture etc this type of problem is especially in lakes and wetlands in india which we will study in a separate video next point is waste land the land which is which is neither under agriculture nor forest is called waste land and this waste land is being conserved by the waste land management department and land is reformed soil is improved there by the leveling afforestation of that land next problem is usher land which is found mostly in a uh, northern plain of india a large tract is stretching from the pratapgarh to sitapur and a number of measures have been there used for the conservation of usher land for example use of pyrite and gypsum and demarcation of that land next is improvement by the gypsum and pyrite is there next problem of soil is salinization especially salinization takes place where there is mostly canal irrigation for example in punjab and haryana soil uh, loses its qualities and natural characteristics and there the decreasing of canal irrigation is the only way for control of the salinization and next point is usurization generally the soil in india especially in other india is becoming usur land and here it is due to the use of chemical fertilizers in chemical fertilizers there is larva site fungicide insecticide pesticide rodenticide etc these are the chemicals used for in the agriculture and soil becomes usurized thus control on the use of these chemical fertilizers is the only way to uh, protect and to uh, conserve that soil in place of these chemicals the biochemicals cow dung leaf compost uh, uh, compost manures are being used thus this is the, thus these are the measures to to preserve and to uh, to preserve and conserve the soils in india this is about the soil conservation and in india soil conservation of india and its regional distribution that is the one the way this is the one the way uh, that will help 
improve the soil conserve the soil and it will help in the betterment of ag agricultural productivity soil fertility and india will become rich agriculturally